Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is a review for the Americana Decor uh, Chalky Finish Paint. And it's from Deco Art. Now you can get these at Joann's. You can get them at your craft store. This is what they look like. America Decor, Decor, whatever, Chalky Finish from Deco Art. All right. And they come in tons of colors. I will just lay some of them here. <clears throat> I will knock them over with my hand as well. And I will talk about them in a momento. Here's some. And then we have probably about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen other colors, include not including these. So there's these, and I have sixteen other colors. I'm not gonna put them all up here. I only put some to try. Now I'm obsessed. And when I tell you I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And you all know I love showing you things um, that are inexpensive, that I love. And this is no exception. So I just picked some colors. I have a canvas here. And why I like these is because obviously it's a chalky finish. So, you know, think of your matte paint when it's dry. This is that times some. Um, but I just love the way they mix. I love the way they work. And I have this canvas here that I was playing on a while ago and I've been cleaning up and I found it. So I threw some uh, gesso on it and I'm going to do some of these colors. So I'm going to grab my paint brush, excuse my arm, and we're going to go to town. So I'm going to start light to dark and this is called lace. I wonder if it would be better if my light wasn't on. My lighting is so off today. Okay, so I'm going to take some lace and I'm going to just paint it on there. So you can see what it's like. You can see how it's covering that background, which is fantastic. And it spreads very nice. And you can make it even thicker if you want. So very happy with that. Let's see some more colors. Let's do Roy. No, let's not do Roy Red. Let's do, let's just look at them, Kelly, and pick a light color. All right, this color is Smitten, and it's like a creamy, orangey, I like creamsicle is what I'm thinking. I'm going to paint. Look at that. And it covers like fantastic. And I could use this as a face color. It's a little orange, but it would be good for shading and all. Hmm. I might have to do that. So that's that color. Now I'm going to rinse off because I don't want them to start mixing. I want you to see some colors. I could go through all the colors and if you ever want me to, I will. But for now, I'm just going to stick with these. This color is Innocence. In a sense, and I'm just putting it here. Look at that. Look how that covers. Oh, one coat. For us mixed media people, I mean, this is beyond exciting. Okay. But I know a lot of paints out there cover, and I'm not saying that. This is just the chalk paint. This is things I've discovered as I've been playing with it and have been obsessed. This is vintage. Oh, squirted a little bit too much vintage because I am too much excited. But what it's going to let you see is how, look how thick. I mean, it's, you can't even, it's so opaque. Look at that. So obviously the more you put it on, the thicker you can get. Oh, just, and it just goes on like, oh, just deliciousness, just deliciousness. So I'm just wiping my brush off. So now I'm going to try the refreshing it's like a minty green. Let's see what that looks like. A little brighter. Look at that. Look at this. Is that not fantastic? Oh, oh gosh. I'm so excited. To, I, I just, I'm going to be doing painting with these all the time because I'm excited. Okay. This is remembrance. Remembrance of that night of purple. I don't know. That's just a that was just a sentence that I made up. 
I don't know if you could have, you could tell that I made that up. The only thing is you got to make sure you shake these really good because they do separate. But I mean, really, I usually shake things anyway. I'm just one of them shaky people. All right. Look at this. Look. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. That'd be a nice lipstick color. Are you with me? Do you hear me? Okay. And let me do red and then do red here, which you can see I've already been loving on the red because I love the dark colors. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. I don't know. I get so excited over it. Things that I just, that I, I think in my head, like, oh, I could do this and I can do that. And, you know, they also have black and white. Um, I'll do a little bit of black, but you can hear. Well, that's kind of obscene sounding, but you have to shake it. You just have to. I'll put a little bit of black there. Just so you can see. Oh, see, I didn't even mix it enough. It has still a little bit of separate in it, but it's all right. I'm going with it. Okay. Oh, the excitement. All right. So now I'm going to put these in my box because I want to put them in my roly poly cart so I can take them out in the living room with me. Although you'll see them a lot because I'm not even lying that I'm going to be having a blast with these. I'm so excited and oh, I have, oh, just so excited. I think I mentioned I got. I'm going to be doing classes here because I got so many of you writing me that you'll that you're interested and I've talked to a few people. So I'm very excited. So you guys can play with these too. Okay. So I have that. So let's dry it. I'm going to use my hair dryer. And this dries very fast. You can see it's already starting to dry before I even hit it with the gun. One coat, you see it, I did, did it very sloppily. I mean, it wasn't like I, uh, you know, was being fancy or anything. Look at that. Look at the color red. Just look at these colors. And that's just a few of them. So now they're dry. <sighs> Feel delicious. Well, that little purple wasn't dry right there, but that's okay. So now what I want to do is, because I love writing on my paintings on my mixed media paintings and my art journal and all that kind of thing. And some things work really well on that. Some don't. So one of my new favorite things that I use all the time are the, uh, deco art glass paint markers. And I use these on, uh, my paintings now because they just work very, very well. Um, but I know some of you can't afford them and you can't, you know, you can't get them. Um, so I have a gel pen and this is the, uh, Sakura, jelly roll and let's see i just want it to be cool but look look at that that is deliciousness now obviously you're gonna have to use a you know something that's a little darker you know to write on but look on the black so that writes like a gem and always no matter what you do always twirl your get that off your if you get any uh, paint on there, you don't want it to kill your pen marker, whatever you have. What about a colored pencil? So y'all know I love me my Stabilo, but I'm going to just use a Stabilo, which writes on anything, but let's see how this does. And it definitely writes. Let's see how it uh, schmears on here, because that's important to me, because I love me some schmears. And look, it's Shamir's gone. That's the brown, obviously. So that'll work fantastically. Okay. 
me put that back. Now I want to use my marker. This is my black marker. I'm sure this will rock. Yep. And awesome. That works. Let's see our white fabric castell. Hello, how fantastic is this? I feel a giveaway coming on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is my uh, R2 roller ball. Oh, look at it's like but it's like hello. I never have a problem writing. All right, this is just too much fun for me. I am so excited and so happy. And if you guys want me to test anything else to write on, let me know. I'm trying to see here because I know, you know sometimes writing with pen and pencil isn't, I mean, I, I push it to the limit because I love doing it, but this is just pencil. I mean, this is just a regular uh, Pentel RSVP writing on there, which is a regular pen. So you guys can see how fantastic it is. Now my question is, I want to smudge and I want to use pencil. So first I'm going to use a uh, Stabilo Black. Um, that Can you see how fast I go through these things? Oh, I love them. So I'm going to I'm going to do my Stabilo Black right here. All right, let's do a little, just some fanciness. And let's see. This is before it's wet, because I like to smudge. But it's smudging on there, and that makes me very happy. I'm very, very happy. And then, look at that. So yeah, it definitely wets. I will talk about a few things that I don't particularly care for. Not that I don't care for, but that you just got to look out for. And then I want to take my heavy um, Derwent graphic pencil that is an 8B because I love drawing and smudging. So we'll just pretend like we're drawing, I don't know, we're drawing something here. And then I'm going to wipe off my, and use a Q-tip or whatever. All right, and it still smears. Okay, good. So that's going to work for me. All right, that's fantastical. Okay, so let me just talk to you about, well, let me find my, let me do my, where's my thing at? How would you know what my thing is, Kel? How would we know what it is? We're not there with you. Exactly. My, uh, swear to God, sometimes. <laughs> Why? Why do I get out of bed in the morning is what I want to know. Oh, 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 oh. A little whiny today. All right. My pencil. That's all I want is my pencil. My pencil, because I'm going to see how it draws on here and how it erases. That's my big test. So we have our we have our little face here. Hello, I have a little face. And then I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase. And look, let me use my other eraser. Look. So it erases. You see that little teeny bit on there. I mean, it's nothing you know, but it erases it off. So that is fantastic. The only thing that I do not dig and I do not dig it, but it doesn't stop me from loving these paints or using these paints. I will just have to uh, pay mind or just go with the flow, especially if you're doing mixed media. Um, when you gesso, like if you have something, this is a canvas was not gessoed uh, originally, but because I put, um, you know, uh, gesso and everything on it, um, gesso can be thick. Gesso can be uh, have a little bit of a texture of itself. So that's why they usually tell you to do a light sanding. If it bothers you, um, because you'll see when you use like this pencil here or like a marker here, you can see that there's lines underneath where it picks up that gesso texture. Now, look, a lot of paints, you know, do that if you gesso. Um, but all I'm going to tell you is to either lightly sand it or just let it go. Mixed media, I love the texture. I love the way that looks. But that's just a little a little con, um, you know, if you're using it for something other than mixed media and you want a very nice um, background. Now, you can use these chalk paints on glass and plastic and all kinds of fun things. So um, think of doing like, uh, like mason jars or labels or whatever, and then you can go on with uh, chalk, which is essentially... Uh, well, it's a Stabilo all, but you know, you can use chalk and write on here as well because it's very, um, you know, very matte and delicious. And I'm looking and I don't have any chalk. Oh, let me see. 
I just keep thinking if I whine, like my fairy godmother will come and make me feel better today. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Okay, I don't see me having any chalk. No, my chalk must be over there in my container. So, you know, um, I just saw my white. Let's use white. And this is a Sibilla All, which is not chalk. It's chalk-like, but not chalk. So you can see it writes on there. So you can, you know, write your on your labels and everything else. But overall, I give that, I really do, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is fantastic. I love these. And they are called Americana Decor Chalky Finish from Deco Art. They're at your craft store. You can get them online at decoart.com. These are my new obsession. They are probably about, I would say, well, they're going to be under two bucks probably. So you can definitely go for your Roy G. Bit Black White. I think I might do a giveaway. <clears throat> Let me know down below if you would want a giveaway of these. I have another white giveaway coming up. I have a few of them, but uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in a giveaway for a couple of these colors. I don't know if they have metallics. I've not looked, um, but if they do, I'll let you guys know because those I think that would be cool. Although they won't be as metallic-y as a metallic one would be, but you could write on it and would have like that little bit of shimmer. So I don't know. Uh, this is the last thing I wanted to try was my, uh, yeah, they work real good my big black marker because that's what I draw with. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this little review. It is, I, I am in love with these paints. I can't stand it. And I just have so many things I want to do with them. So let me know. And if there's anything that you guys want to see me demo, let me know down below and I will gladly do so. Um, but yeah, these are a win, 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 win. Love them, love them. Let me have a thumbs up if you guys uh, like seeing reviews and things like that. And give me a thumbs up if you guys want a giveaway on some of these paints. As always, be kind to each other. You never know a battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.